Dogo Shamsu's last match was against Dogo Maita Kosara, which he lost. And um, Ali Kanin Belo's last fight was against Dogo Sisko. If you remember well in Kano, um, there's a bit of controversy around that win because Ali Kanin Belo won, but he, um, he was a judge to have pulled the hair of Dogon Sisko, which is not allowed in in Dambe, but um, he won. Anyway, we go into our first heavyweight match of the day, Dogon Shamsu versus Ali Kanin Belo. Ali Kanin Belo on the left and Dogon Shamsu on the right. But well, now they've switched places. Dogon Shamsu is on the left. Ali Khan and Belo on the right. Both of these fighters are experienced. No each other very well, and Dogo Shamsu lunges in, but Ali Khan and Belo retaliates with a combination of left and right punches to the face. Uppercut. I think he's being warned right now by the referee. I don't think you can strike with both fists. According to the rules of Dambi, you strike with one fist, the one that is wrapped, your kara, and you defend with the other. Now they have their fists locked in. Shamsu, right fisted. Ali Kanimbelo, left fisted. Remember, as a rule in Dambe, if you do not strike at all, you will be penalized. Seems to be a staring contest going on right now. End of round one between Dogon Shamsu and Ali Khan in Belo. Again, if you're just joining us, our first match in the heavyweight categories between Dogon Shamsu and Ali Kanin Belo. Both fighters with one win and two losses each. Round two is on the way. And you can see the sheer intensity between the both of them. Ali Kanin Belo. Heavyweight. Warrior, Dogon Shamsu, Mercurial, Stylish. They have both been penalized for not giving a strike at all. I told you, you know. In a match of Dambe, if you don't strike in a minute, you'll be penalized. And off we go again. Both now grappling on each other. 
Ali Khan in Belo looking to deliver a dangerous blow. Shamsu all over the place, moving to safety. An uppercut there from Ali Khan in Belo, and he meets him on the ground. Dogo Shamsu has been struck to the back of the head, but he gets up after the five second count. That is the end of round two. What a turn out of events after the yellow card. A lot of activity now for both fighters. Ali Khan in Belo forcing his opponents into an early, almost early submission there. But he didn't submit Dogon Shams, who got up again. Looks like he's ready to go for round three. But the judges would have seen that. Ali Khan in Belo. Looking to dominate here. Round three for these heavyweights to go. Round three is on the way. Dogon Shamsu versus Ali Karim Belo. Our first fight in the heavyweight category for circuit fight four. And a lunge there by Shamsu, but his grapple is held by Ali Karim Belo. He releases himself, tries to move away. Ali Karim Belo still manages to deliver one more punch. Dogon Shamsu is back, locking fists. With the monstrous Ali Kanimbelo. Both of these fighters now very careful, looking to wrap it up in this last round, gain as many points as possible. They should be wary of being penalized because they haven't struck. Uh, Launched there by Ali Kanin Belo and Shamsu, but Ali looks like he caught a bite of that. Uh, Shamsu is running all over the place, and Ali Kanin is chasing the end of round three. Tell you what, that was interesting to watch. Dogon Shamsu ran away for safety. Ali Kanin chased. You can see Dogon Shamsu there cheering, saluting his fans. Ali Khan and Belo looking like a lion that's out for blood. We await the verdicts now of the judges for who the winner of our first fight is going to be. First fight in the heavyweight category. Awaiting the verdict from the judge. Ali Kaninbelo has just been announced as the winner. Ali Kaninbelo with 84 points. 
Dogo and Shamsu with seven to nine to see in action.